Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ashley. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is my first time filming uh, this type of video, so please bear with me. Today I wanted to kind of talk about my 2019 stats on Poshmark. So I wanted to kind of go over basically everything, how much I sold, you know, just statistics, just stats just information I did start Poshmark last year it was nothing like serious it was just me trying to make some extra money I was pregnant at the time I think I was probably four months pregnant so of course you know babies are expensive so I think I was you know trying to look for another way to make some extra money uh, little did I know that I was going to become super obsessed with it and I now want to that's my baby yes so I now want to become a full-time seller on Poshmark I'm trying to add more and more listings I'm trying to go to the uh, thrift stores more but of course it's a little bit challenging for me especially kind of going off the topic but I recently started working again because I did do it I think 2018 I was a online teacher so I taught kids that were from China I just taught them plain English so if you're looking for an extra way to make some extra money they actually are hiring right now they do need a lot of help I will leave the link down below to the video uh, that I did kind of talking a little bit more about it um, so I'll leave that link down below so you guys can go check out that video but I made around an extra thousand dollars a month which is not bad but I'm not gonna lie the interviewing process of that is kind of just not the best I think there's three steps you do have to have like a face-to-face -face chat with someone you know you interview it's not that bad though also the times are horrible they're around uh, 4 30 in the morning to 7 in the morning it's not that bad i'll just leave a link down below so you guys can check it out and if you do check it out make sure to use my referral code so they can know that we're kind of linked up and i sent you there anyways um so today i want to talk about my 2019 poshmark stats basically so i started poshmark on january 20th of 2019 so i recently just hit uh, my one year on poshmark that was probably i want to say like two three weeks ago so i'm a little late on filming this video but that's okay better late than ever i'm gonna go over a lot of stuff anyways let's just start um i hope this lighting isn't too bad i'm trying to try and ex experiment with new angles here we completely uh redid our entire um living room so i don't know if you remember the big couch that I would sit on uh i used to film that right there it's no longer there so we are now going to be playing with um and experimenting with new angles here so okay let's see how this works anyways okay Okay. Here are my 2019 Poshmark stats. So I did start January the 20th. I sold from January 20th through 2019 through 2020. So a whole year, exactly a year. I sold 101 items. Now again, remember that I am part-time. I am not full-time. So I was not um, constantly on the app. I was not constantly listing. So uh the fact that I was part-time, I think it's pretty good. Overall, I made $1,685 within that year. Uh, of course, Poshmark, Poshmark kept some of that money. So I only actually got to keep $1,253. So they did keep a good i want to say around 400 and some dollars i'll put the exact number on the screen of how much they kept um so that's how much i sold um i'm gonna be looking down because i did write everything so so please bear with me so at the end of my one year i had 225 available items right now i actually currently have 284 so i've been listing a little bit more the most popular day of the week was wednesday and saturday so wednesday and saturday were my most popular days followed by thursday with 16 friday with 15 sunday with 12 monday with 11 and tuesday with 11. my most expensive item that i sold was actually two items it was a david maester dress which i sold it for 65 dollars but kept 52 because poshmark takes a portion of it and then the other one was a denim and supply american flag cardigan that one i also sold it for 65 dollars so the david maester dress i did buy that for dollar 80 and the the cardigan i did buy it for two dollars my least expensive item that i sold was a for 
Forever 21 dress. I sold it for $6, so I only got to keep $3.05 from that. From the 101 items that I sold, nine of them were guy items and 92 were women. From those 225 available listings that I had at the time, 20 were men and 205 were women items. I sold eight maternity items. I currently have seven maternity items available. Okay, so from the 101 items that I sold, three were shoes, two were skirts, 21 were dresses, 50 were tops, jeans were four, pants were two, shorts were nine, purses were three, and then the rest were just rompers, what else, um, accessories and stuff like that. These are the popular brands or the most items that I sold of these specific brands. It's Lululemon, Gap, Nike, American Eagle Outfitters, Forever 21, Tommy Hilfiger, Victoria's Secret, Pink. There's not an exact order of which ones uh, sold more. So the biggest gap between each item sold was from July the 23rd through September 7th. So I was pregnant at the time, so around this time, I uh, had just had my baby. I had my baby on June the 29th of 2019. So mom life was kicking in and I was putting Poshmark to the side. Uh, so I did not get to sell Actually, I did not sell anything for that whole, what, month and a half, which is crazy. I did not sell anything. I was not active at all. The smallest gap in between each item, I've had multiple uh, items sold in a day. So the most items that I've sold in a day were four items. So that was February the 25th, April the 10th, the 27th, and October the 5th. So I sold four items in each of those days. My top five states are California with 13. So thank you, Cali. Uh, Florida with seven. Massachusetts with seven. New York with six. And Alabama with six. So thank you to those states. Lowest states I sold two. So the states that bought only one item because I did have uh, states that did not buy anything. Um, and that was Oklahoma, New Jersey, Colorado, Louisiana, Indiana, Rhode Island, Nevada, and Utah. From the 101 items that I sold, 51 of them were from either my closet or family members. 50 were thrifted. So as of right now, this very moment, which we are to what, February the 10th? 11. I have 82 total ratings. I have 75 five stars, four four stars, one three stars, zero two stars, and two one stars. And my rating is a 4.8. My average shipping time is two days. My current monthly shares, so my self shares are 29,985. That's as of right now. I'm trying to get that higher. Currently I have 284 listings. I have 40,409 followers, 24,726 shares. The most items that I sold in a week were 14, which was from March 18th through the 24th that was a monday through sunday and then now we're going to talk about the the month so let's see so i started january 20th 2019 and that one was technically like what 10 days since i technically started towards the end i only sold one item so i started the 20th i sold it the 22nd so two days later and it was a 13 dollar item so i only sold one that month february i sold 18 march i sold 29 which i was completely shocked when i was doing this April 27, May 4, June I had 3, July I had 2, August I didn't sell any, September I had 7, October I had 6, November I had 1, December I didn't have any, and then January up to the 20th I had 3. I kind of see like a little trend. I see, you know, February I had 18, March I had 29, April I had 27. Um, I was listing a lot uh, throughout uh, the beginning because I had just found out about Poshmark and I was just like so obsessed, which I still am, but not as much as uh, back then. So I was like listing like crazy. So I feel like that's maybe a key thing in um, maybe selling more, which is just, you know, listing and listing and listing. <laughs> that first section or that first quarter technically was really good. And of course, like I said, you know, May, I kind of just checked out of Poshmark completely because I was wor working on the baby shower for May. 
June, I was just getting everything ready for the baby. I had the baby um, the 29th of June, so technically July. I was trying to get used to mom life. This is my first baby, so I was trying to get used to everything. Also, August, um, I did move out of my parents' house in August. Also, settling into my new uh, life, you know, not being at home. I was just really busy, and I did not put a, a much time and effort into Poshmark. So I do see kind of that little trend. Um, I am trying right now to become a full-time Poshmark seller, especially because I want to go back to school this summer. Anyways, back to this. So then technically my popular months, March with 29 sales, April with 27, and then February with 18. My lowest was December and August with zero, November with one, and July with two. Did I buy anything? Okay, so I bought four items on Poshmark. I did buy four items on Poshmark. Actually, the first item that I purchased were these Alfani little sandals. I did have to cancel that order because the person did take a long time like a week and a half to ship and I just I got tired of waiting you know I had messaged her and she said that she was going to ship it out by by Wednesday and it was already gonna be Friday and I was just like no so I had to cancel my order following that after I canceled my order I kid you not a week later or two weeks later I did win make a deal days um, but basically since I technically had a bad experience with the seller since it was actually my first time buying from them and I had a bad experience they wanted to kind of of outweigh that by uh, me winning make a deal days kind of you know make me happy because I did have a bad experience and then had a good one so you know it kind of averages out that's what I think I don't know I might just be it might just be a coincidence that I won uh, make a deal days after I had a bad experience but I don't know maybe it's just let me know if anybody um, out there has won uh, make a deal days and it was after they had a bad experience buying. Maybe, maybe that's a trick to winning make a deal days. I don't know. The other three, I bought two Sam Edelman heels and one uh, Texas Longhorn shirt. Did buy that with the uh, 100 Poshmark dollars that I won from uh, make a deal days. I did leave love notes for them for all three. One make a deal days once. It did take me nine months to become a Poshmark ambassador. But the reason was because I never bought anything. I had all of the requirements to become a Poshmark ambassador except I needed to give one love note. So basically you have to purchase something and leave some feedback or leave a love note. So that was the only thing that was uh, holding me back for a long time. But I wish I had accepted or purchased sooner because I now notice I've only been a Poshmark ambassador for two, three months, maybe going on four, I have seen a lot more traffic within my uh, Poshmark closet. So I really wish I had um, accepted the program or bought in something and left a love note a whole lot um, earlier. So from the 225 available items that I had throughout that year, uh, 124 of those available items were thrifted and 101 of them were mine. Let's see, I had seven bundles sold. The most amount of items in a bundle was four items. The bundle was $58 and then the least was two with um, that bundle costing $16. I currently at the moment have 285, or no, 284 active listings. The most listings I have ever had was 287, so that's the most. So those were basically my stats for my first year on Poshmark. Technically, if you really think about it, 2019, those were my stats for 2019 as a part-time seller. I am currently a part-time seller. I'm currently trying to transition transition into a full-time Poshmark seller. I'm trying to get my listings up. I think the past, I want to say, two weeks, I have listed around 50 items, which is not good. I mean, it's okay. It's 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 okay. But I, my goal, of course, you know, take baby steps. But my goal is to try to list at least, I want to be realistic here, 50 items a week. 
so that's my goal i'm thinking about doing these for uh, each month to see how i do i feel like this is a great way to see where you're at and see how your year went um see how your month is going i was really surprised that i had that many cells in what was it march april close to 30 items sold which is just crazy i was not aware of that I was not aware that Wednesdays and Saturdays were my most popular days and I did not know that California was the state that bought the most for me. So all of this is re really interesting to me. So I think I'm thinking about doing this monthly. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if I did miss anything, any questions that you guys have or any you know stats that i probably forgot about which i'm sure i did i would really appreciate if you guys were to leave them down in the comments so i can add them to the next time i do this video maybe you might do for the month of february see how that goes so that's pretty much it for this video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it so i know to continue making these make sure you subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video